16th, Tuesday. I had two sets of dreams. I'm trying to remember the second set was the first set because I couldn't sleep. I would sleep, then I'd wake up, and then it's only like two. And I try to go back to the sleep. And I did it, there's four right now. But the first set of dreams, um, it was about communication. And there were, but the way it was referenced in the dream were bugs. There were bugs. It wasn't a good dream. I didn't like the bugs, but it was bugs. The thing that stood out was like bugs in communication. There were bugs in the communication. Because it just seemed like there was like an effort to communicate in the three or three, three types, three scenarios again. And I was trying to find a pattern when I woke up the first time in the day that said I was bugs and communication, bugs and communication. I hate that I thought about bugs. I was like, ew. Um, but in the threes, the first one was one bug, one big bug. One big bug. One big bug. <gasps> One big bug in vacation. And then they went. I don't remember that. Okay. It was like a. I don't know if it was a spider. Or it was like. There were spiders, but there were bugs. Just bugs. Mm. If I went from one weird bug. To many weird bugs and in the many weird bugs it start off with one but then you try to kill it and it was like if they multiplied like like the body parts would grow eggs almost and then more would come out and then it'd be like, no, we have to kill it. We have to kill it. Like, it wasn't a good thing. It wasn't a good thing. <gasps> Weird. Bugs and communication. And then I woke up just thinking, bugs and communication. Bugs and communication. Like there was interruptions. Bugs and the communication. There were interruptions in the communication. The funny thing is, in regards to that one, is the, the video that's going to post tomorrow is um, reaching out and clarify to clarify and to talk about communication. To talk about how how people are reaching out and I'm, I'm I'm working on setting my boundaries and my limits and and just that theme of like realizing right this a major theme of this whole journey has been about communication it's been about um me speaking up advocating for myself for my needs, right, and speaking the truth, really, mm. 
That's weird bugs in communication. <laughs> they were they weren't your normal bugs either. They were like I mean if I had to You know those potato bugs those niños de la tierra? <laughs> potato bugs, I think is what they're called. It was like that almost. Maybe for the big one, I, or or for the last, I, I can't remember. Oh, I did not had a second century, but I can't remember that one. I woke up back in a restroom, <laughs> and I was I was trying to remember the first one, and I couldn't. I, I, oh, so I remember the first set, but then as soon as I remember the first set, I, I, I just right now forgot about the second set. Yeah, what that one was about. But I'll go back to sleep because I'm still tired and it's only 4.30. And it's only 4.30. I don't know, I'm going to try to sleep a little more. Just want to record that. Oh. It was. I don't remember the details, but the the feelings that come up are, or the themes, are also about communication. But it was um a little different. It was um acceptance, acceptance. It was about accepting the situation. Accepting the situation. The way it's unfolding with people. Just accepting. Accepting. Not not trying to control. Because trying to control pushed people away. But just allowing. Just allowing. Allowing things to unfold between people and accepting what is versus trying to control the situation or control the other person. There was this element of just just accept what is and you bring people closer together when you when you accept what is. Something like I don't remember the details of the dream, but those were the words that that are coming out and trying to describe it. It's almost like if the it's almost like if the details don't really matter anymore. It's more of just the words that get stuck with me of how I'm interpreting the dreams, what I'm seeing, and the pattern, the connection. I feel like it's more of like the words are sticking more. And it's weird. Like it's it's, I, I get stuck with words. About the dream. But I'm, I, I still want to remember the details in case I forget. In case I forget. Or, or in case there's other clues. I just want to I was falling asleep and it, it just <sighs> they're coming in fast. The first one, I'm getting more flashbacks. 
of the dreams as I'm trying to go back to sleep. Um, and the, the first scene, it's just me with someone. There's this element of, of me with someone. And, and there's this uh, unfolding mm, with the whole theme of acceptance. And it's like I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm talking to this person or if it's correspondence or there's an element of communication, but there's, there's direct contact with me. And then by the third scene, it's, it's, it's mini me's, like, like, extensions of me, extensions of me sharing the message, talking or, or communicating, but the theme was this element of, like, to not control, to not control people or situations because that just separates more in this element of just acceptance, just acceptance of each other and that will bring us closer together. Something like, I, I have the, I have the image, images, I just, and I can only remember two of the three in each of and but I know there were three in each. is Yubi and in case you haven't figured it out this footage is capturing my experience as I learned to navigate my personal spiritual awakening um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth this just happens to be my journey um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step, be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth. We realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience, it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just, just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just uh, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best. And